Hi, this is Chris from ASIC Software, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the persisting stage of using a collection. So, we've looked at adding and removing, um, which is all good, but saving that stuff off is not quite as straightforward as you might think. Um, it's not that difficult either, but there's just a few little gotchas. So, what I've done just to go through the setup is removed all that, um, all the stuff that was basically pre-populating our, um, our collection form, or form collection, whatever you want to call it. So it should be blank at the moment. And this may be what you're used to seeing, like blank. I think we covered this in the first video. Uh, when you first create a form, it's kind of blank and no good. Um, and you're confused by it. So yeah, that's the setup. And then we, we've replaced just the regular dump out with a actual persist at this stage. So we're just getting the entity manager, plain old stuff, and then the conference entity, uh, which will have been pre-populated now, uh, not pre-populated as such, but actually populated with the data that we're putting in will then be persisted. And because there's a relation between this and where are we? the speakers and it's set to cascade the persistence um, I think that's something that I've just added in as I said in the previous video this was done a day after so it's I'm a little bit sketchy on what I was up to but yeah I'm pretty sure I've just added that in at this at this stage in fact I'll just check that sorry about that I'll just check it uh, check that out uh, yes whatever let's just see yeah so that, that gets added in at that stage um, Yes, sort off. Okay, so did I change anything? No. Um, yeah, anyway. So the forms are still the same. Nothing really changing here. The JavaScript is still the same. In fact, that doesn't change from now on. So we'll just close it. And this doesn't change because why would it? And we're never really going to do anything with that. So that can go. We just won't want anything that's confusing, really. Yeah, so because there's the relationship, you don't need to persist off the individual speakers. It does cascades through, which is basically what a cascade is. Um, and then it saves stuff off. So let's quickly demonstrate that. Uh, we've got a database which is currently empty. We'll just create a fake conference. You can see I've already tested this. <laughs> let's hope it works this time through. Uh, Saturday conference. Uh, speakers, Mr. Chips, I had him yesterday, hey, very predictable, and uh, Mr. Fish, why not, so let's just save that, now, hmm, that's possibly because I have not updated this, let's just see, uh, let's Let's see what we've got. Yeah, something was different there. Not too sure what. Anyway, let's go back. Let's try again. Come on, computer. Seems to spend years of my life watching spinners and stuff. Right, so even though nothing's happened there effectively, it has, I hope, saved yep pretty cool and we've got an ID of two because the first persist will have taken ID one but it didn't work as you saw there was an error um, so yeah that's what's happened there we've got this conference ID two so these are related um, to that conference very good and the reason why we do not see a, anything in there is because if you look through here it goes through it persists it flushes and then it forwards us back to this root, and this root is this one, which is just a form collection, which is where it's sent us to. But remember, when it loads this up, it's empty. So it's just created a new conference, uh, and it's blank. But it has worked, as you've seen, because it's gone into the database. And to do that, obviously, we're going to need to pull a record out of the database, and we've not done that at this stage. You'll see in the next part, we do do that in the... Um, so yeah, it's, that's that's basically it. That's persistence in a nutshell um, of a form collection. Uh, nothing too scary there, to be honest. It, the the 
the gist of it, as I said in video one, is as long as you've got this, um, as long as you've got like your map, your array map, sort of accurately um, time, like matching up to your entity structure. So as long as everything's in order, once you persist, it's really straightforward. And it's really when you're trying to do, uh, well, normally when you're first working with this, you're not too sure exactly how it all works anyway. And you've perhaps not got your entity structure bang on. And those are where your problems come from. And then you try and persist. And one of the things that you might see is um, it persists all right, but you've not got it. It'll be null in here. Um, and that is to do with, oh, what is that to do with? Oh, I can't remember now. Uh, why doesn't that work? When you persist that off, it's because they're not getting related. Oh, that's it. That's that's must have put that in here somewhere. Speaker conference. Here we go. Yep. Glad I walked through that. So yeah, in the last video or the video before, we looked at these two methods. In this one now, as I said, there is a little bit of additional complexity to it. So what we're doing, same method, um, just added in this line. And the reason we do this is because. In fact, let's just remove it and I'll show you. Simple as that. Let's just drop the database. So we've got a clean database. And go again. And effectively what you'll get is this null. And I'll explain why as, as it goes through. Uh, create. So it should be blank now. Yeah. If we could have a blank database, that'd be great. Right, so... Right, I'm just going to do something pretty lazy here. I'm going to pre-populate this. Um, just because I can't be bothered typing that stuff in again. Uh, control speaker, not found, blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, it's because I've just removed that. Isn't it? I wonder why that had gone blank. Let's try again. If you're wondering what that's basically saying, it's because I'd commented that out. And then... PHP storms like you don't need that, so I removed it, but um, yeah. yeah, that's why. Anyway, yep, so just pre populated that because I'm lazy, but it's taken ages. Probably would have been quicker to type it. I'm going to save that off. And the reason I'm doing that, obviously, is because when I save it now, I don't want all this to pre populate and confuse you. That's probably, that's, that's probably a terrible way of doing it. In fact, let's just sod that. Ignore that bit. If I was any good at video editing, I'd remove it. And we'll just blah, blah, blah it. Uh, three. Right, so we're going to save it. This should save, but we'll get some nulls. Remember, it, it comes out blank because of the reason I've just explained. And then, yeah, so we get these nulls. And the reason being for this is because when we go to our conference entity, we're adding a speaker, and it says if this doesn't contain, if this speaker's array collection doesn't contain the speaker, then add the speaker to the array collection, and then that's great. The problem is, it's doing exactly that, but it's not associating them uh, because of like the owning side of the relationship. Uh, it doesn't set the relevant ID of the conference, so it doesn't set up the relationship. So what we do is, because we're already passing in the speaker entity anyway, we get access to all its methods. Um, one of them being set conference. So simply. We're in the conference already, we're in the conference entity. So we say, for this speaker, set the conference to be this, as in this conference. A little bit confusing, but that's the gist of it. So once we add that in, save it. And let's just see if I can quickly drop that. Yeah, so it's it's not been such a such a sad, probably won't like me doing that. Oh, sorry, cool. Um, and then if we just, oh, let's just do it again. Blah, 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 save that. This time, of course, it's calling that, so it, we get our conference ID set. And that's that's just a little, little gotcha, and that will um, hopefully save you a headache there. So in the next video, we're going to actually look at removing, and again, there's a little bit of additional stuff that we've got to cover, so uh, stay tuned.